Welcome back to the channel. Now with law enforcement unable to locate the location of the shallow graves of the Moody siblings, law enforcement might have to rely on the information given to them by their mother. Now I'm going to hear the details that she shared with law enforcement about the most recent conversation she had with Kerry Moody and the fact that it was alleged that the siblings also wanted her to go pick up some money for them with their lives taken for that said money and money they had received before. Let me continue to go on the continue reasoning. Look and listen. I said to him, say, so one of the, him say, then they out of green jail. Them out of green jail. So, me say, hey, so one of the green jail so, so early. He said to me, say, I saw something, them I go pick up one package. So, that was it. Me okay. throw them out the best way when me can. And at the same time, she get involved in a, so it all over the media, she get herself involved in her some things where she's you not know, criminal activity where she's not supposed to be. In My son never get involved in anything like those, right? So all over the news, her name all over the whole world, the type of um, situation where she get herself in. But me been talking and talking, and me try my best to try me to curve them out of here, and then she, she do something different. So me could not do anything more. Now, what is the scenario here? The Moody siblings were unaware of the tension being built against them. Were the Moody siblings unaware that the boss of the Lachis Camin operation either felt or knew to them the thief in money and already had started to formulate a plan to have the Moody siblings' lives taken? Now, mother of the Moody siblings said, just talk to her son. And the information given to her was that they're going to pick up the money. We don't know if I see the money with them that I ask them, the mother for pick up, allegedly. Because it's also a, a scenario where I circulate on social media that the siblings had asked their mother to go pick up some money too. So I don't know if the Moody siblings were just couriers, individuals who would pick, pick up illicit gains from lottery scamming or lottery scamming operations and then pass it on to the individual who's supposed to get it. It's as if they were quote-unquote runners. And that's the next aspect of the lifestyle. They make it even worse. Because keep in mind, them probably still have business with these individuals. Illegal business. But them still are go around them. People still ask them for go pick up money. Them probably still do it on these individuals' behalf. Not knowing, say, these individuals plan to take them life. In a device note, it did more sound like the individuals were a part of the, the operation. The person said, the individuals bingo our money and go round the bus. So you know, if they say bingo, it means that them go pick it up or they were a part of the scamming process and just never willing to share the proceeds with this individual's boss. This is clearly not the way. Hopefully the younger generation in a rural Jamaica open them eyes and see that the bloodshed this has brought to your communities, to your districts. Nothing else never bring this level of bloodshed. Them say political opinions and political views divided the country in the 1980s. Something which resulted in bloodshed for many years after. When that was dividing Jamaica, of course, even in rural Jamaica, there were people with opposite or different political views. I was born in that time, so we don't know if the conflict that was seen in places like Kingston and St. Andrew were also seen in rural parishes. One thing for sure though, that did not bring the level of bloodshed we have seen in recent years in rural Jamaica. There have never been so much high power weapons in rural Jamaica. Now on to the other stories that are making headlines today. Now law enforcement have some explanation for the people. Especially the family and the loved ones of Melissa Silvier. Her husband should also be outraged at law enforcement if he was not the individual who was present at the home when the first officer arrived. 
him for one also know who was there when the first officer arrived. Because think about it. If they must say, the officer was instructed to not lift the sheet because Miss Sylvia was not decent. And obliging the family's request, he did not do so. And that is how the blunder was made as there were gunshot wounds to her abdomen and her legs. Wasn't there any lighting in the room? No light never turned on. We are talking about gunshot wounds. No blood spatter. Did the room then smell like it was recently cleaned up? But no, the attorneys representing the Sylvia family that asked the media outlets to avoid speculation. But even without speculation, people are outraged that this could have take place. I mean, the family and the loved ones of Miss Sylvia are also outraged. Not only would her murder have gone unsolved, the police did not do their due diligence. But the family and loved ones would not even have known that it was murder. It was assumed that Miss Sylvia passed in her sleep. So there were never any thoughts of bringing justice for the family. Them think Miss Sylvia died of natural causes. Now the situation has changed. And of course now the family have questions. But they never want answers for. What really took place at the home of the Sylvia's? And we are talking about well-respected people. People involved in, a, in a politics and things of that nature. But the camera them there. They're supposed to depend on them house. For sure. Who would I go to and from? You need them not have cameras inside of the house. So we might not know what takes place inside of the dwelling. Go on to outside. Who was there? Who will leave? This is information the law enforcement that got off to rely upon. As I said, some people I say I cover up. The law enforcement had already put in a request for a postmortem. Some people speculate that the family had paid for a private autopsy. As I would say, sometimes rich individuals, wealthy people, have their own family doctor, family lawyer. They have their own, you know, they have everything for the family. So sometimes when things like this happen, they will call the family doctor who then writes, you know, time of death and things of that nature. But I guess by law, law enforcement have also do their autopsy. And this is when this information was revealed. There has been no confirmation about any private autopsy that the family has done. This is all allegations and speculations from the media, which are the same thing the attorneys that say, yo, them I hope the media wouldn't do. What has been confirmed though is that protocol was breached by law enforcement when one sergeant went to the home unaccompanied by another officer. He also breached protocol by leaving one DC at the police station. There was no other officer at the police station at the time. That was also a breach of protocol. But talk to me in the comment section. Tell me what you think. If you're new to the channel, just pass through. Click the subscribe icon and then the bell icon. And of course, put it on all. And this is how you now will be notified of all fresh content. As soon as fresh content is uploaded and made available for you right here upon the platform. The like icon is also in close proximity to the share icon. Drop a like and bust a share. And tell a friend, tell a friend, tell them, sister and them, brother them. For check out the channel and check out the reason. And also join the discussion. The comment section open 24-7. It never lack it. Just be respectful and mindful of the guidelines. But other than that, drop your thoughts and comments and get your opinions there. And we can continue the reasoning via the comment section. Now a quick recap. Law enforcement might have to rely on evidence given to them by the mother of the moody siblings. And law enforcement is also facing heavy scrutiny for the blunder that took place at the home of the Silveras. After it was assumed that Miss Silvera passed in her sleep, and then law enforcement stated that no gunshot wounds was found on Miss Silvera. Talk to me in the comment section. And to the reason again, leave the one press and stay tuned.